Very well. I leave this to you. With pleasure. With pleasure. Yeah. Love it. I'll back you up. Good old backup. No, deadly poison. Ow. Now. Everything's okay though. I thought this thing was called Abaddon. It actually looked like Abaddon from Shin Megami, but it's it's similar to Abaddon. Let's go. No, don't scratch. All right, never mind. You could scratch as long as guys dodges. Love it, dude. Rain dishes out so much damage. The Taurus Master Quartz is amazing. I'm not sure if it was in the first game, but I should have used it in the first game. Especially for Laura and Reen, who I don't even use arts with. I, I would consider putting it on Gaius too, honestly. At some point, because Gaius, I, I don't use much arts with Gaius. I can transition Gaius to not using much arts. Gaius is... Honestly, you can work on everyone, which I like. You can work on every character that you want to dish out damage. It wouldn't work as well on like Emma, he, uh, Emma and uh, Elisa, but uh, it could work. Or Maki's, but like, you know, technically you can do whatever you want. I love the court system. You can really play around with all the setups and do crazy stuff with it. It's really reminiscent of Materia and I love it. Thank you. Leave it to me. I'm gonna try going for the delay. Did it work? It did work! Oh, I'm, I'm stunned though. Green, don't die. Of the moon. Green, just don't die. It's that simple. I think he wants to try that uh, cryptid again, but I think I'm gonna wait until... We're probably gonna wait until the next Touring Erebonia stage. Probably the next... By the, by the time we get Touring Erebonia 4, we should probably be over level 100. Why want the Azure Flame Slash? Eh, I don't think I need it. I think I'd rather just use regular crafts. Get him! Now's our chance. Here. Saving up for that glorious burst. It's my turn. Go, Zio! Go, Zio! Of course. Oh, and your ADF, huh? You shouldn't have. Literally. Let's do this. Let's go. Now the waifus are gonna get Let's into move. the fray. There we go. It's about over. Get my girl Fee in here for a bit. Leave it to me. I'm sorry. Can you handle this? We'll do. We'll do. All right. Good damage. At least I might get the kill here, possibly. There we go. XP. You love to see it. I'm so glad. That should suffice. I'm just getting started. I did it. I really just want to get more of these level two S crafts, which is kind of why I just wanted to like. Uh, yeah, that's why we're gonna take Gaius out. That's kind of why I want to take Gaius out. I do like Gaius though. We've been using him a lot, so we could definitely give someone else a turn. Um, me Sarah. Oops, did I take Elisa out? I didn't mean to. There we go. We will use Sarah, though. Sarah's not bad of an idea. Uh, let me set her up. Shall give her an attack two. Definitely an evade two. Definitely a aerial R. Yeah, Laforte. HP two. Impede, yes, because guys had that before, so now we can give it to her. Okay, that's pretty cool for just trying to do side quests. And defense buff, and then crystal flood is fine. Where's that master quartz I have for you? Pandora, yeah, now we're talking. Gives you ATS. Juggler gives you attack, actually.
Mobius wouldn't be that bad. This is pretty standard. Yeah, give Mobius to you because Mobius isn't that bad. Pretty standard. All right. Let's, uh, we're done with the monster quest. So now we just have that last quest. Let's go visit, uh, let's go see Margarita then. And go get her to the courageous. Do whatever her little task is. And then we'll do the final quest. And then we're ready to move on the, to the shrines. Where do you want to go? She's in the barrier, right? I think she's in the barrier place. Yeah. Leave it to me. Schwartz Drock Barrier. There she is. Hopefully this doesn't this doesn't um take too long. What you got at the shop? Uh give me one of these. One of each. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Bum. Yeah, I love that little jingle. Oh, it's you. I remember you. Oh, my wonderful Vincent. Ah, uh, how many more cold nights must I endure without you to keep me warm? I, I, I hate this chick. I remember her. Margarita, is that you? Green, class seven. Are you all here to see me? How sweet. Wouldn't have expected to find a student in a place like this. It's nice to see that you're well, Margarita. Ah, uh, yes, it was definitely worth taking a massive detour to find out if one of your schoolmates was well or not. Speaking of, what are you doing here? I'd heard that most of the upper class students stayed at the academy. Did you decide to join against joining them or something? Well, I stayed at the academy for a while. My family sent someone to pick me up and take me home before too long, though. Then I snuck off on the way back, and here I am. And you thought that was good because... Silly Reen, surely you don't have to ask. Because the love of my life, Vincent, is still at the Academy. Couldn't bear to be separated from him for a single moment longer than I must. Vincent, as in Ferris's brother, Vincent? Vincent Florals, held in rather high esteem amongst the second years. You're so devoted, Margarita. One good weirdo deserves another. <laughs> well said, Fee. Two star-crossed lovers separated by war. It's a tragedy for the ages. Though I have been trying to return to the Academy ever since, unfortunately, I've now ended up stuck here. Uh, when will we ever be able to see each other again? I think of him every moment of the day, and yet cruel fate continues to tear us apart. Uh, I was going to invite her to join, but it doesn't seem when, right when she's down in the dumps. Maybe someone who knows her better than I would be able to cheer her up. Someone from her club. Who's from her club? Who is from her club, though? Oh, is it Fee, maybe? Where do you want to go? Leave it to me. Is it someone I have? My turn. Of course. I'll handle it. Is Fee someone from her club? No. Is it Elisa? Or do I have to wait later? Like, how would I recruit her? She has a marker, so I have to be able to. Let me try other characters. Because I, I keep forgetting you can, um, just bring all the girls, or it could be a guy, who knows, but I don't know who it would be if it was a guy. Oh, hey, okay, Milliam. I don't even know what club they're in together, I forgot. Huh? When'd you turn to a big old damsel in distress? This isn't the margarita I know. The margarita I knew was fun. Fun? Just what are you implying? Well, first of all, the Margarita I know never gives up. And when she sees something she wants, she takes it. I mean, none of my other friends ever mix shady drugs into food to get people to fall for them. And nobody else set, spent entire days stalking the guys they liked and blocking their escape routes. She's kind of the girl who'd jump into hell and take the place over in a second if she thought Vincent was hiding down there. Well, I... Wait, is this list of crimes supposed to be a pep talk? Anyway, you see what I mean? That's the Margarita I know from back at Thor's. But now I see this margarita sitting around waiting for Vincent to come to her. That's no fun at all. I guess that's none of my business. I'm just a bit let down is all. That's right, she is like... I remember this chick was obsessed with Vincent and she wanted to be with him. I, I do remember that. It sounds familiar. It's been a minute, but I do remember. You. You know, you're absolutely right. Love is a battle. A bloody, protracted, no-holds-barred battle that you have to fight for yourself. I really don't like where this is going. Consider yourselves lucky. From this day forth, I will be by your side, offering my valuable assistance. Oh no. 
I'll go out and hunt my beloved Vincent myself. Then I'll never ever let him escape my embrace again. There she is. There's the Marguerite that I know. Good to have you back. See? This is already way more fun. Oh no. Milliam's reawakened the beast. Milliam, how could you? I'm sorry, Vincent. I'll keep you in my prayers. <laughs> oh, Reen. Alright, luckily we didn't have to do a quest for her. Uh, let's return to the Courageous. We will also... Change party members. Organize party. Give me Sarah back and give me Emma back. Where do you want to go? Let's uh do this quest. The Isengard range, right? Isn't that where we're supposed to go? Isn't the Isengard range where we ended up with Reen by himself in the beginning of Cold Steel? Cold Steel 2 of this game. Are we ready to help out Klein and Habel? Once we do, there's no coming back till we're done. Wait, I should uh report them. <laughs> Hi Oliver. Well, well. Give me that mirror. How's my Sepith? I might want to buy some... Buy some, uh, stuff. Angie. Angelica, wait! If you're here, then who's piloting the ship? Calm down, Reen. Our dear Toa is testing out the autopilot right now. Sure, I'm the helmsman, uh, but I'm not a machine. Sometimes the gals need to focus on their attention elsewhere. So now that things have settled down a little around here, Toa decided to take opportunity to run a few tests. Rest assured, once she's finished that up and decided on our next destination, I'll return to the pilot seat. Ugh, that makes sense. Still, I've got to admit, it's impressive how well you can handle any vehicle you get your hands on. They've repeatedly stressed how high the spec Courageous is, but you're already piloting it like it's second nature. I appreciate it, but I'm afraid I don't have the Courageous nearly as well tanned as my orbital bike yet, anyway. Oh, speaking of, let me thank you for leaving the bike in my care. I'm glad I finally have the chance to return it to you personally. Oh, there's no need for that. I know you've been getting quite a bit out of there. I have even noticed a little Reen specific customization on her last time I checked, so it'd be rude to ask for her back. In fact, I hereby declare you her rightful owner. Sick! Just make sure you keep treating my old partner well, got it? I don't know what to say except thank you so much. Thanks, Angelica. Who the thought there were crystals of Zemurian ore just waiting for someone to clear up some trials and take them? Not me, that's for sure. Still, now that we know they exist, we should be able to get enough of that giant sword. Yeah, honestly, convincing Professor Schmidt to help us out is probably going to be tougher than getting the ore. George, I'm amazed you actually decided to ask him for help in the first place. I don't think I've ever heard you get through a sentence about him without at least one groan or sigh. Well, don't get me wrong here, I don't want to do this, but as a former student of his, I know how talented he is. And we're not in a situation where we can pass up capable helpers just because they're incredibly unpleasant. If we can get him what he wants, he'll do an amazing job for us, assuming he doesn't lose interest halfway though. Halfway through. Right, anyway, better get back to the ore gathering. We'll worry about keeping him interested later. We'll have to. Good luck. Let me see. If I can buy some quartz and upgrade some slots. Uh, ooh, we got level 3 stuff. Any one of those. Maelstrom! Oh, are the final uh, quartz coming? We gotta be nearing the end. If the final quartz are coming, chat. We gotta be at least 70 to 80% through if I had to guess. If I had to, like, wager a guess. There might be one more set of spells, but we gotta be nearing... I can't get that, unfortunately. We gotta be... Getting to the end. Yeah, we don't have evade three. Okay, we gotta be like at this 70 to 80, like 60 to 70 percent mark. Gotta make some tweaks to my thing, I think. Alright. Let's make some tweaks really quick. So instead of attack 3 instead of a 2, I couldn't get the attack 3, right. Give me shield 3 instead of shield 2 for sure. Ba -ba -bum. Defense 3 I had, didn't I? Yeah, give me the defense 3 instead of defense 1. 
Maelstrom, I'm going to put on someone as well. I could put it on, uh, put it on Emma, because she's, she is the best ATS. Purgatorial Flame as well is sick. They have all these fires, so I might give Purgatorial Flame to someone else. Husis, I think. You have Grim Butterfly. Actually, you know what? No, give it to Elisa. She's two fire spots. Yeah. They got anything else? I got Ragnar. I got Ragnar Vortex too. Let's give that to Fee. Should Ragnar Vortex give to Emma? Um. Yeah. Nah. Keep it on Fee. All right. Oh, can I customize weapons? I should check. Game, please. Definitely, definitely. Definitely, definitely. I mean, that was guys, but still definitely. I should give you accessories. I should do accessories stuff more often. Crit plus 10% is amazing. I forget about accessories a lot in this game. And that's not a good sign. You never want to be playing a JRPG and forget about accessories. Fence delay is nice, yeah. I mean, most of my characters have accessories. Um, I want to give that the fee, I think. Yeah. Ooh, this will this will go on either Husis or Elisa. Husis hasn't died by a third. That's really nice too. Evasion plus ten percent. That's something else, didn't I? It was that, right? The brave heart, brave heart. Yeah, put that in feet. This ATS thing is going on. Give it to Elisa, I think. I feel like I benefit more from her. We'll give you casting time reduction. Yeah, prevent freeze, because freeze is really annoying. Yeah, okay. Good enough, good enough. That'll do it. We're just gonna go do this quest. And I don't know if it'll lead us straight into the main story, but either way, we'll have time to advance the main story at least a little bit. Ba, 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 ba. Where do you want to go? Isengard range, please. Yeah. So this is commencing the operation. Wait, did I report? They would have to give me a chance to report because this is a quest. So I'm gonna assume I've reported. I'm gonna assume it's gonna make me. The creator just departed for the Isengard range. And we still have to go to the shrine, so I would assume the game gives me a chance. Being careful not to alert the armed group to their approach, they safely landed at the rendezvous point. Hey, you made it! Let me take a drink of my water. Oh my goodness. Are they gonna fight us? Climb! A bell? This is where we ended up in the beginning of Cold Steel 2. Ha, <laughs> we've been waiting for you. Thanks for coming all this way, we really appreciate it. We're gonna fight these guys? I'm down, honestly. Happy to see you're both okay. Have you been fighting by yourselves all this time? Yeah, we've been trying to do what we can to support the other Thor students. We've been hearing a lot about what you've been up to on the Courageous, too. We've been doing our best to stay up to date on how the war is going, and that's how we came to find out about this incident. Anyway, we can catch up later. Right now, we better focus on the task at hand. You did come regarding our request, right? We certainly did. The airliner was hijacked, wasn't it? You said it was hidden around here? That's right, it's just over there. Ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. So that's the airliner. The model is used in Ro Rower 2. Craggy terrain does make this a pretty top-notch hiding place. 
I'm guessing those two standing watch outside were involved in the hijacking. Can't help but feel like I've seen those outfits somewhere before. Not to mention it. From what I gather, they're mercenaries of some kind who were hiding among the airliner's passengers. Once inside, they took control of the airliner over the Norcia province, then threatened the captain into landing here. They've got civilian hostages inside, nobles included. What are they after? It's all but certain that ransom money is their objective. The war is growing fiercer by the day, so neither the Imperial Army nor the Noble Alliance forces have any spare manpower. My guess is that they're trying to take advantage of that to make profit. How despicable. That should be ashamed of themselves. They're trying to take advantage of the misfortune of others. I'm really impressed how much we were able to discover about them, though. We're working alongside them at the moment. We ran into a squad of theirs not too long ago, ended up swapping info. We've been working together ever since. That's when they let me borrow this rifle, too. Alright, it's kind of weird seeing you with one, though. Anyway, getting back to the subject at hand, neither army has the manpower to do anything about this right now. So we were wondering if we might be able to rescue the hostages ourselves. Gotta show that we're military students at some point, right? I like the way you think. They managed to avoid getting caught up till now, so I imagine they're feeling fairly cocky at this point, enough to let their guard down. So, with your help, we might be able to capture them along with saving the hostages. So, you think you can lend us a hand? Of course. There's civilian lives at stake here. There's no way we could turn a blind eye. Yep, and we come all this way. Might as well do what we can. Thanks, this will make things a lot easier on our end. We'll be counting on you. Right, our current plan was drawn up to based on the assumption that only Habel and I would be participating. Now that we got you and the Courageous here, could probably do a few modifications. You guys ready? I'm all set. I guess we're not fighting, we're just gonna help them out. Together they set about devising a new operation to capture the criminals and ensure the well-being of the hostages. Once they finished fleshing out the details, all that was left to be done was wait for the perfect opportunity to begin.